If what I've been reading is true, the TBI is just now getting around to questioning the Wells boys about the disappearance of their sister, Summer. When it comes to this investigation, why does it seem like it's always too little, too late? Let's break down the facts. It makes no sense to me why the authorities have waited six months before questioning the Wells boys about the day their sister went missing. Common sense dictates that they would have been questioned almost immediately upon removal from that hellhole while the memories were still fresh in their minds. However, since Don and Candace aren't in custody yet, it may be down to what type and frequency of communication they've had with their sons since losing custody of them to the state. In general, the aim of foster care is to reunify biological families, though in practice, especially where drugs are involved, the biological parents often have their parental rights revoked by the court. Presumably, since the Wells were already on child services radar before Summer went missing, the removal of the boys was not directly related to Summer's disappearance. Instead, it was another case of children being removed from the custody of unfit parents pending completion of a remediation list of corrective actions. In a nutshell, Don and Candace were told by the court to get their shit together or their sons would remain in foster care. Don's subsequent DUI arrest is in the opposite direction, but since Don is a free man, what are the terms of visitation and communication in place between these two parents and their sons? None of us have any way of knowing if or how many times Candace and Don have seen their sons since having them removed from their custody. Could it be that the TBI was waiting to see if these two would stop visiting with or even keep in steady communication with their sons? A lot has been made of reports making the rounds about local parents calling the police on Don and Candace because their underage children were hanging out at their home, drinking, and possibly using drugs as well. Since one such source of info is this Don B, I take it with a grain of salt, until someone gets specific with the time. As in, last week, some parents in Rogersville, Tennessee, called the police on Don and Candace Wells after Candace refused to give them her address to come pick up their teenage children who were at that house hanging out and drinking with them. While I get that this type of child endangerment is yet another misdemeanor in Tennessee, one would think that police would be looking for any excuse now to isolate Candace in order to question her until she breaks. As for the Wells boys, I hope that the TBI gets at least enough information from them to warrant a warrant for Candace's arrest, even if only for misdemeanor obstruction charges. I'd like nothing better than to see some hard-ass TBI investigator grill the crap out of Candace until she confesses everything about what happened to her daughter, Summer. In order to do this, however, the delays need to stop and the authorities need to start making some much needed progress already. Now I'd like to hear from you. Why do you think that it's taken so long for the TBI to speak to the Wells boys? Do you think that they were waiting until Don had less influence over them? Or do you think it's because no one has been moving this investigation along as quickly as they should be? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.